This Lion fan base have been craving home playoff football since this building opened in 2002, and they've got it today at Ford Field in Detroit. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl, and we've got a classic in store between the New York Giants and the Detroit Lions. Chance to head to Arizona in two weeks' time for Super Bowl 57. We are underway now in the NFC Championship. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. to get things going. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Um, four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. They'll look to throw. He's airing it out for Williams. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will finally be escorted out of bounds down inside the 35. A big play there for Detroit. 43 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They will run straight ahead with Swift. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. He'll drop to throw. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up Ford. Well, they certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Cybert able to knock this one through. Every possession in the postseason magnified, and look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit, so every point is precious. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy at a 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. They find some open field here. And all the way down to the 39. So how about 
that for a chain mover. They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They keep it with Barkley on first down. 49 yards rushing for him now on the opening drive of this NFC title game. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. Now Jones. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he'll get this to the 22. So they begin the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Barkley. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard that time, second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Barkley again. They hold him again, and now all of a sudden, it's third and goal at the line. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. So here we go on a third and goal. This Lions defense, they haven't broken yet. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And Barkley did not get there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. Now they send a man in motion right. They'll run with Barkley. And not only will he not get in, he's going to lose yardage. They stuff him back at the four. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And the Lion defense able to come up there with a goal line stand. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Three-nothing after one. the secondary now for the Giants here on third. They'll drop the throw. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. A big gain of 31 on third down. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. 
And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 16. Back to throw here. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be... Ten at the seven yard line. At their own seven yard line. Okay, ready. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind and try to put together another drive. A yeah, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and 
attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow him to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. 57 yards rushing for him now. A strong performance here in this first half with a Super Bowl berth on the line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Throwing Jones. Little out route here complete to Shepard. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Jones and Shepard with a connection there for Giants first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Here's Jones on first down. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. To throw a good catch, but I really like the rock, the drag, and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. First down, New York. A first down carry for Barkley. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. The drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Shepard. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Two minutes remain in the first half of this NFC Championship. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try to run for it with Berkeley. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. Gano's kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call there, opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the best. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. The 20. Touchdown, Detroit. 
DeAndre Swift. 74 yards. And the Lions have moved out in front. On this stage conference championship game, every play is magnified, and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot at the big game, their big playability. They can strike from anywhere. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Looking to throw on second down. Jones, flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Many times when a play breaks down and the quarterback's moving around outside of the pocket, you're thinking, just get rid of something short. But a lot of guys are coached, think deep, take the big shot, hoping someone can get lost behind the secondary. They weren't able to connect on that one. Now Jones to throw on third down. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. As this complete to Daniel Bellinger. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as he stopped it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Jones throw taken in by Slayton. Jones now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. Yeah, great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. Jones now throwing on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way to the football. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty. And the Lions will take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation. If they Into a double team and it's intercepted. 
Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they have work to do in the second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches at halftime were saying, don't panic and then demonstrating it by not making a lot of drastic changes to the game plan. Let's just get back to doing what we've been doing all year long. That should be more than good enough. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. We'll get this up to about the 44. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Second down, here's Barkley again. And yeah, he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Third down, Jones. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. Tough one there. The first drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be an even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man. And he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead, and boy, it paid off. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Swift going to try up the middle. He's down inside the 10 to the 8. And it comes on a gain of 8. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. He's got this complete to Williams. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Swift, not going anywhere. He'll lose a couple back to the six. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Second and goal from the six this time. One more time with Swift. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the run. 101 yards rushing for him now in the ball game as he goes over the century mark with the AFC title on the line. Third and goal here, a big play brewing in this NFC title game. Williams is into the end zone, touchdown Lions. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time, he had the speed to win that race. Extra point by Cyber, up and good. And the lead is now 17-3.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. So the offense back out now, coming off its first interception of the game the last time out, trying to reestablish some, some momentum here, Charles. But they're trailing defensively. Maybe these guys are smelling the blood in the water a little bit. Yeah, I think that they probably are. But what they need to do right now is just make sure they don't force the action too much themselves. They've got them on the run a little bit. You just want to be in a position. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. And this defense, Charles, coming up with another interception. They have really done an excellent job of locking up these receivers. Yeah, they're really on fire. They are actually doing what they talk about all the time, which is plastering to receivers when they're in their zones. They didn't give up a touchdown in the first half. Haven't done so here in this half either. Blanket in the field going all the way back to the opening drive, and they come up with a pick right there. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. To throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. And the line to gain is the 33 on third down. Wait, wait. They'll set up a throw. He's got his tight end over the middle. T.J. Hawkinson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. And the last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. the handoff this is Swift and he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21 they follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time they're bring us spot right now with a convincing lead I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves start to try and pound them into submission and the offensive line they've controlled this game I don't see why that trend would change now Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. On now is Seibert for the Lion field goal. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Seibert's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there, and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. 
As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. But doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. Now, meanwhile, a final play here is incomplete, and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. The offense on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. Back to throw. Jones. And that is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. It's taken to the 26. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Lions will take over. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football. You're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge out to the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. Watch one. Check me. Right back to Swift again on second down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Now that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking at the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Detroit. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. now as they line up and kick this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And their dream of a Super Bowl birth so close three quarters ago, but obviously starting to slip away if it hasn't already. They need points here and in a hurry. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. 
A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it brings up third and five now. Operating from the gun. Jones. Oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. Got a man, Slayton. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that's complete to Shepard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Jones throw on target to Shepard. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Called out a very strong gain of 24. Looking to throw. Jones. He's got Slayton on the slant. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Back to throw. Jones. And he's got it. And the Giants are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. They'll look to throw again. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Brita is into the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. Well, something about this team, you just felt like they were one of destiny all season long, and they made themselves today, as you can see, the class of the NFC. Yeah, and it's starting to look more and more like a Super Bowl trip is very much in their future. And the fans starting to book those tickets. The Giant offense going to stay on the field as they'll go for two. Jones throwing for it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation. This time, unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at one. I think stats over time may bear out the running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. It's been a dominant performance to this point, Charles, and this is probably exactly how they scripted this and envisioned it. They got a three-score lead, fourth quarter, and a chance if they want to continue to pour it on here. It is their call, isn't it? I mean, the way that they have taken on this game and the way that they have carried this game and have dominated this game, you're exactly right. Do what you want down the stretch. We are in the era of, hey, if you don't want us to do this to you, then you need to... He's got a man complete! And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Boy, another big play late here for offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for him during this game. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis Let's match, go. that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. 
And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new...